Hello. Today we are making a polywag from Pokemon. Start by felting an egg shape shown below. Now grab your blue fiber and cover the whole thing. Keep stabbing until whole thing is smooth. It's okay to leave some white spots for the front because we will add details and cover them anyway. Now use pink fiber to make the mouth. Stab it until you get a firm oval shape. Attach the mouth. Make sure the placement is correct. Now work on the body details. Make a flat round white piece. Stab the edges in first. Improve the edges by stabbing inward. Eyes next. Make two oval shapes for eyes. I don't make the edges firm before attaching because this way I can make adjustment to the size while attaching the eyes. Stab the edges and make sure the shape is correct. Reduce the size by felting the edges toward the center. Same thing with the other eye. If you have trouble with symmetry, try looking at it upside down and sideways. Seeing things from different perspectives can help you spot mistakes more easily. Now add the pupils. Now add white details. Use coarse needle to start sculpting the mouth shape. Put black fiber in the dent we just made. Grab some more black fiber. Pull them to make them thinner and longer but try not to break them apart. Twist and rub them a little bit to make them better stay together. I use needle pins to help me plan the spacing for the swirl on its belly.
twist the fibre as we pin them in place. Cut off the extra. Carefully stab the black fiber to the belly. Once the black fiber are in place, remove the needle pins. Now we can start improving the swell shape. Add more fibre to the thinner part, so the line looks consistent. Feet next. Make one long piece for two legs. We will cut it in half later. This way is easier to get to identical sizes for the feet. Also it's probably faster than felting to separate legs. Cut right at the middle. Use needle pins to pin them in place. Make sure the placements are good, then start stabbing. Add more fibre to smooth out the areas. Proceed to the last part, the tail. Notice I keep twisting the fiber with left hand while felting. It keeps the fiber together and prevents them getting stuck on the mat. Now make the fin. It's too long, let's fix it. Reduce the size by felting inward. Stab them at an angle, but be careful not to break the needles. Compare the fin to the body for correct proportion. Trim slightly to get clean edges. Attach tail to the fin. Add fibre to other side of the tail. Once happy with the shape, attach it to the body. Smooth out the surrounding area by adding more fibre. Our polywag is done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video.